Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from General Stanley McChrystal and his influential book, Team of Teams. The book has the subtitle, New Rules of Engagement for a Complex World. It is, in its essence, a roadmap for large organizations, showing them how to benefit from the agility and savviness of creating and empowering small teams. Building on his extensive experience as a U.S. Army general, McChrystal shares his innovative leadership approach of creating a team of teams with common purpose, shared awareness, and large degrees of empowerment. McChrystal developed this concept while stationed in Iraq back in 2004. See, he realized that despite its enormous resources and expertise, the U.S. Joint Special Operations Task Force struggled to overcome Al-Qaeda. In a nutshell, he understands that the usual U.S. military approach, based on a rigid command structure and lengthy centralized planning processes, was failing for three main reasons. 1. They faced a new type of enemy. The vast, slow-moving task force couldn't keep up with Al-Qaeda, which functioned as a decentralized network of agile teams, allowing them to strike quickly, reconfigure immediately, and integrate their actions globally. 2. They faced a new type of environment. Iraq was a complex environment far from what the military organized and trained for. And 3. Technology allowed terrorists to spread information and instructions quickly, leaving the Americans permanently two steps behind. McChrystal realized that to counter the chaos that Al-Qaeda nurtured and thrived on, the task force needed a dynamic approach. He got the idea to copy the agility and adaptability in the small task force units and scale their success to the organizational level. As a result, he created Team of Teams, in which units collaborated the same way individual members do on small teams. He mainly focused on the following four qualities. Empowerment, a common understanding and mindset, bonds of trust and a vital purpose, and a sense of the whole, meaning all are responsible for the team's success and act to ensure it. Transforming the Task Force Although the individual task force units were adaptable, the command-oriented stature of the overall organization limited the general adaptability. Teams functioned in their own spheres or silos, coordinating with their comrades but not with each other, consequently hindering the overall mission. To change this, McChrystal did three things broke down silos, built trust between teams, and transformed leadership. Breaking down silos. To change the culture of silos, the task force adopted a policy of extreme transparency, providing everyone with an unvarnished real-time view of the organization. To further encourage information sharing, McChrystal created an open office environment at the task force headquarters, encouraged everyone to copy relevant colleagues on emails and take calls on speakerphones, introduced daily operations and intelligence briefing, and had regular leadership meetings using technology to expand participation greatly. Scaling up trust. To build trust and familiarity between teams, the task force established an exchange program, which assigned a team member to a different team for six months. The idea was to provide embedded team members with a view of the war from within another team, build new personal relationships, and consequently, create ties between teams. This experience enhanced understanding and trust, as the embedded team members saw the other team's strengths and shared their newfound knowledge with their home team. In a similar effort to build ties with external agencies, the CIA, FBI, NSA, and so on, the task force greatly expanded on an existing program of sending liaison officers to partner agencies. Transforming Leadership even though the restructured task force in Iraq have now developed the shared consciousness and team connectivity needed to more efficiently counter Al-Qaeda, they often found themselves slowed down by bureaucracy. Decisions had to travel up and down a lengthy chain of command. And paradoxically, the instant communication enabled by technology further slowed down decision-making, as more people could weigh in. Senior leaders wanted to approve things that, in the past, they wouldn't have been directly involved in due to a lack of real-time communication. To speed up the reaction time, McChrystal began pushing decision-making authority through empowered execution. Often, he didn't explicitly delegate. Instead, he created a general rule. If it advances the task force effort, do it, assuming it's moral and legal. 
In addition, McChrystal adopted an eyes-on, hands-off approach for himself, meaning that if subordinates fully informed him about what they were doing, he'd observe without getting involved. Conversely, if they didn't provide sufficient visibility, he would jump in aggressively. Bottom line. The role of a great leader is similar to that of a gardener, that is, creating and cultivating an organizational ecosystem in which others prosper and grow. And there you have it, Team of Teams by Stanley McChrystal in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.